Welcome! In this video I'm going to be taking a look at this Rui Puo Dual HDMI Video Capture Card. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. If you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So let me get the shrink wrap off so we can see this a little bit easier. So it has eight screen modes, 1080p capture, low latency, uncompressed. On the side, it lists some different applications you can use it with. Of course, you have popular ones like OBS, Twitch, and YouTube. Here are some of the modes. We have up-down mode, left-right mode, single picture mode, and picture-in-picture -picture mode. And we have some specs on the back. So this supports USB 3.0, but it is compatible with USB 2.0. For inputs, it supports two HDMI ports, line audio in and microphone audio in. It outputs HDMI pass-through and USB-C to the computer. It also has headphone out. This captures video in RGB or YUV2 format. So for input resolution, you can have up to 4K 60 hertz. Now we'll only record 1080p, but if your gaming system outputs 4K, this can handle it. So this works with Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. So this is going to support the same standards used by webcams. So if you have an application that can use a webcam, a USB webcam, it should work with this. So let's open it up. So here's the capture device. We have buttons on it for the different modes. They're kind of rubberized buttons. Case here feels like aluminum. We have rubber feet. We have vents on the side. On the back, we have the two HDMI in and one HDMI out and the USB Type-C power and data. And then on the front, we have mic in, line in, and headphone out. So here's a little card here. It lists the different resolutions on it. You can pause and read through that. Here we have the manual. It comes with an HDMI cable. Now you're going to need multiple cables, hook different things up, but you should already have most of those. And then we have the USB cable. So this is a USB-C to USB-C cable. The cable's around 40 inches, so it has USB-C here. On the other side, we have USB-A and a USB-C adapter that is connected here. So you can use this with legacy systems or newer systems. Let's take a quick look at the manual. So this has an introduction, lists the features, has a product diagram. Here's the button description. So when A or B is pressed, the current single way signal source will be displayed at the loop out and the capture end. When the swap left right key is pressed, the two input screens are displayed together and the left and right are divided into equal proportions. So you can press the key again to switch them from left to right. It also has the same for up and down. And then it has four buttons for picture in picture for each corner. And then it has magnifiers. It says these two buttons are used to adjust the ratio of left to right screen split, up and down screen split, and picture in picture window size. This talks about getting it set up in OBS. So you're going to choose the USB video and that's pretty straightforward stuff there. So this will work in different applications. On a Mac, you could use it in QuickTime Player. On a PC, you could use it in the camera app. You could also use this with streaming apps like Zoom, Teams, things like that. And here we have those product specs again. So you can pause and read through those. Here's the bottom of that. So let's get this hooked up. So I need two inputs to put into this. So I'll connect it up to a Nintendo Switch and a GoPro camera. Let me widen this out here. Okay, so I'll plug my Nintendo Switch into HDMI input one. I have the GoPro, that'll go into two and that will plug into the side of my GoPro here. This is a mini HDMI to HDMI cable. That is not included. And then I have a cable here going to a monitor. This could also go to a TV, obviously. So I'll plug that in. And then I'll connect up the USB-C to my computer. So this is lit up. You can see the A is selected. Let me show my monitor here. So I'll switch it to B. So the GoPro is not on, so I'll turn it on. Okay, so I have the switch screen there. I'll press B. Now we're at the GoPro, so I need to configure this to show the camera. So here we have the camera. Okay, so I readjusted my camera here on a tripod. Okay, so now I have the camera. I'll press A and I'm at the switch. So I can press the two buttons and go back and forth between the two systems. And it's very fast, so press, you can see. So I'll do the A, B, left, right. So this put B first and A second. I'll switch it again and we'll go to the opposite. Then I can go up, down. So I'm up here, I'll hit side by side and I'm on the right side and then I will go back and now I'm down. So if you want to switch to side by side, it will go to the opposite of what it previously was, I think. Let's try this again. So I'm up, I'll hit A, B, I'm on the right, I'll hit AB again, I'm down, and now I'm left, now I'm up. So when you switch it, every time you hit it, it will go to the opposite, no matter what mode you're on, it looks like. So now I will hit picture in picture, upper left hand corner. So it is very tiny up here, you can just barely see it. I'll go to the right hand, bottom left, bottom right, 
Let me go to the upper right here, and now I'll use a magnifier to make it bigger. Let me swap that. So I'll press the picture in picture again. Let's see how big I can get that. So that is how big picture in picture can be. Let's go side by side again. And something happened on my GoPro. But if I press the magnifier here, we can have it so it shows everything or it can crop it. So let me go in the upper right and hit that again. And now let's play a game. Okay, so now we're over here at my computer and I'm on a MacBook and I went to QuickTime and I went to File and New Movie Recording. And then down here next to the record, I chose USB video capture. And for microphone, I chose XSO2 USB. Quality, I chose high. So now I can record this. So while I'm recording, I'll be watching this screen. It'll be recording on my Mac. So I'll play a little bit here. So I can talk while I'm playing. I'll choose a car. Now while I'm playing, I can hit buttons to change things. Like I can move my image down to the bottom. Move it back to the top. Hit it so it can switch it. Okay. I'll go over to my computer. I'll stop the recording. And now I'll insert the recording into this video so you can see it natively. So while I'm recording, I'll be watching this screen. It'll be recording on my Mac. So I'll play a little bit here. So I can talk while I'm playing. I'll choose a car. Now while I'm playing, I can hit buttons to change things, like I can move my image down to the bottom, move it back to the top, so switch it, okay. So while I'm playing, I can talk. Let's get these boxes here. Oh, uh, only got one. Since I'm in the front, I'm not going to get any good items. So we'll drift in. We'll drift in on here. Could be a jump, spin around, there we go. So I'll push that, I'll go over to my computer, I'll stop the record. So you just saw the demo, I just saw it too. The audio was coming from the GoPro. It would be better to hook a microphone directly into the capture device. GoPros are not known for having good audio, but you can see it did capture the audio. So instead of GoPro, you could also use a DSLR. That'd probably work a little bit better, have better quality. Now the nice thing about this is that it was combining this on the capture device. So it wasn't using extra computer processing power to put my image in that corner. So if you have an older computer you're using for capture, it's not going to need that extra processing power to do things like this. So other places you could do this, say you're testing two computers and comparing them, you can have them side by side here. Maybe you're doing a boot test, you could boot both of them up and have one on the left, one on the right, and you can easily see which one won. You could also have a camera of you on one side and the other one could be a presentation or maybe some training you're doing. So this is really only limited to your imagination on what you can do with this. So that's the Rui Puo Dual HDMI Video Capture Card. I really like the capabilities of this just as a capture card, but being able to put two HDMI inputs into it gives it a whole other level of functionality. I found it straightforward and easy to use. The buttons are clearly labeled. The current button you're on is also lit up, but it's nice having physical buttons for this. It makes it very easy to switch between the different modes. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.